excuse me, check out kingwin.net, your opportunity to make fantastic savings on predominantly PC games, but also console ones as well. Games such as Star Wars Battlefront 2, Assassin's Creed, even GTA. With 24 seven customer support, you can be rest assured it's safe, it's reliable, it's efficient. On top of that, there's extra savings to be had as long as you enter discount code BORN at the checkout. That's kingwin.net, link and discount code in the description box. Gran Turismo Sport, who would have thought it? Yes guys, welcome back to the channel. Gran Turismo Sport is what we are playing today. A game that I heavily criticized before it was launched. A game that I hammered, a game that I battered and campaigned for just like the rest of you guys for the purpose of us getting our single player GT mode, which we know is coming as an update at some point. So what I did two weeks ago on Black Friday, I decided that I was gonna buy a copy of Gran Turismo Sport. I haven't uploaded any footage to the channel as of yet because I've been playing it in secret. I've been playing it in my back cave, trying to get to grips with the game, understand how it works, understand the mechanics, the physics, all those bits and pieces there. And uh, while this is not a review, the whole purpose of this video is for me to just discuss the fact that this, without any shadow of a doubt, is the most beautiful, the most prettiest, the best looking and most well presented racing title that has come out in years. Not just in 2017, in years. As you can see from all the screenshots or scapes as they're called that are being beamed out to your mobile or laptop or whatever device it is you're looking on right now, everything from the in-game lighting to the photography is a class now thus far i haven't actually been online yet and raced anybody what i've been doing is trying to get to grips with the driving school uh, as you can see i've got 100 completion i've got a whole load of gold globes there which mean that i'm doing well in some way shape or form however what you'll notice at the bottom is number 46 and 48 those two challenges have become a stumbling block for me and no i will not be going through them in this episode because i don't want to rage quit today that's 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 not what we're going to do today what we are going to do is we're going to head straight into the mission challenge of which i've only got six percent complete okay Right, various missions to test your racing techniques to the limit. So as you can see, I've already started stage one and I'm about halfway through. We've still got to get a gold on five. We've still got to do six, seven, eight, and four. So we might as well just go straight into the Bloom Bay Speedway one lap battle in the Aston Martin Vantage Group 4 car. And uh, as you can see, I've got some friends that are already added to my list and currently my attempt was pants. It was poor. It was pretty bad actually. So uh, it's all about trying to rectify that now. Right then, here we go. Blue Moon Bay Speedway, one lap battle. We are in the Aston Martin. In front of us is the Nissan GTR Premium. We are closing in. The slipstream effect is evident. And out we go with a nice little slingshot overtake there. Braking heavily. Brilliant, nice, neat, tidy. Little bit of understeer on exit. The tires are squealing. The traction control kicks in. The Alfa Romeo. I believe that's a 4C. Is it a 4C? It doesn't matter what it is because it's another victim. Brilliant. We are now up into third position. The Golf GTI stands between us and the lead car. We go round it easily around the outside, carrying a lot of speed. Trying to close in now on first position. Looks like a Mustang in front of us. It's braking heavily. It's giving us the opportunity. We are closing. We are closing. We're going to go around the outside. No, we're going to dip down in the inside. Brilliant. Have we got the pass? We've got the pass. And with that, we get our gold medal. Fantastic. Thank you very much. I will take that gladly. Yes. Brilliant. Oh, yes. I enjoyed that. That was really, really good. I thought we kind of messed it up there because whilst we were closing in on the, uh, the Mustang, it did feel as if I had uh, taken just a little bit too much speed into that final corner. But somehow the uh, powers of traction control and stability management kept me pointing in the right way oh that was good i like that right so we get some prize money we get some mileage points which is nice right so for those of you who don't know who haven't been playing the game the mileage points basically you can you, you gather them as you go through your career, as you go through missions, as you go through driving school, and it just gives you the opportunity to go out there and buy different things for your car, different liveries and stuff like that. So it's basically for the purposes purposes of unlocking items. 
Ah, so I'm currently fourth on my friend's ranking leaderboard. Uh, it's pretty tight though, it's pretty tight. There's only half a second separating us, so I could probably find that time somewhere on that lap if I was to do it again, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do now is select the next event, which is this one here. Knock over the knock over the cones? What the hell? How does that work? Knock over as many traffic cones as you can within the time limit. Okay. Okay. Right then, here we go. We are in the Alfa Romeo Mito 1.4 Turbo Sport from 2009. A car I have never even heard of before. Right, here we go. Go, go, go. Right, so it's basically playing 10-pin bowling with a car is the only way I can describe this challenge. 20, 30, 40. Oh, yes. Oh! Oh my goodness, we went over one of the cones. Is there a time limit? Oh shoot. There's a time limit, I've screwed this up. Oh, dang it. 95. That was terrible. We're going to retry that again. I'm going to change the camera view for the second attempt. I'm going to use the exterior view. Um, There we go. Let's see if this helps. Maybe I'll be able to line the car up better and... Uh, have a better understanding of exactly what's going on around me. 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, yes. I feel it. Oh, no. No. Oh, man. Oh, terrible. I messed up, man. This is a little bit more trickier than it looks. We're going to give that another go. Come on. Right, here we go. Third time lucky. Got the first 10. 20. 30. Is there a time limit? I don't think there is. Just need to be a little bit more careful. Come on. Come on. Yes, surely. Oh no, you're lying! Oh my gosh. How? No, no, no. Sorry, we're doing that again. I'm sorry. Can't leave this challenge being short by one. So you do have a time limit. It's 27 seconds. Okay, cool. Didn't even realise. Right, let's go for it. This is the one. All right. Keep the car as stable as possible. Oh. The problem is, is that I can fit... Oh, I've messed it up. Screw this! The problem is, is that it's not just a case of knocking over the cones. Sometimes you knock over some of them and you can actually feel the car driving over the cones as it pushes them. So it kind of it kind of destabilizes your um your field of judgment, which is not great. Come on. Oh, oh, see, you see, you see, you saw, you saw what I'm talking about. You just bared witness. Did it? Yes, we got it that time. Brilliant. Trophy earned Cone King. I'm the king of the cones, yo. Call me Conehead. Call me Conehead Born. Who does this? Biatch. Nice. See, look at that stupid cone getting in my way. It looks like the stick from Top Gear. That was pretty good. Oh, you see? You see how the cone tried to kill me? The killer cones is what they are. They tried to kill me. Clearly. Bleh. Nice. On we go to the next challenge. Okay, right. Challenge number six. Overtaking on the inside. Okay. In a Camaro SS. Oh, my goodness. American muscle cars. Can I tame the monster within, which is the Camaro? A battle on a technical section with consecutive corners. Get on the inside of your rivals. Okay. Raise your position before the finish line. Right. Fair enough. Sounds pretty straightforward. Looks like I've got to overtake everybody on the inside. Willow Springs International Raceway. Big Willow. Nice. Right. Oh my goodness. The sounds of that engine. Right, here we go. Sun's in my eyes. 
Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Okay. Dips down the inside. Brilliant. Hold it together. Ooh. And here we go. Up into second position. Dab on the brake. Try not to understeer. Brought it back in nicely. What's that in front of us? Is that a Ford Focus or a Ford Fiesta? I can't tell. But what I can tell you is we're about to absolutely demolish it just on the finish line. Brilliant. Little bit of a scrappy performance there. But nevertheless, it doesn't matter because we get our gold, man. We were going for gold. We went in there and we came out with exactly what we wanted. Brilliant. It's a bit of a hard thing to tame, man. Definitely. That's what I like to see. A whole load of gold disco balls spinning round like it's 80s night. Yeah. Aim for a top speed of 155 in the Audi TT Coupe. Or Coupe, as it's called in other parts of the world. Alright then, fair enough. Um, how fast can you go before the finish line? Gain speed quickly by getting behind your rivals and using their slipstreams. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so everyone managed to hit 156. So that's what I've got to go for. Oh, look at the beautiful sun ray shining on the side of my yellow submarine. Oh, yes. The German Audi TT all-wheel drive will spearhead us to victory today. Okay. Line yourself up nicely. Get in that slipstream. Gather up as much speed as possible and flick out. Brilliant. The plane goes overhead. Lovely. Ooh, ooh, lost the back end. Damn, that was terrible. That was awful. 147. No way near. We've got to do that again. It wasn't very, it wasn't a smooth run, to be quite honest with you. The car was snaking all over the place. It was my own fault. There should be a retry button. Oh, brilliant. Okay. All right, let's go into the... Ooh, look at the hand-stitched steering wheel. Don't ever let anyone tell you that the guys over at Polyphony do not take great pride and attention to detail. Lovely. Oh, gosh. I need to concentrate. Yeah, I lost a lot of speed there. I lost a lot of speed. Come on. Slipstream. Draft. Last minute pull out. Oh, that was awful. Come on. Get it together, boy. Right, I may go silent for this because I really want to get this done. I'm not really looking to be here for two hours trying on the same thing over and over again. It'll be more smoother when turning the wheel. 114. Come on. No, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's no way near enough. It's no way near enough. Uh, 152. Well, we got ourselves up into silver. So I guess gold has to be next. Dang. This is more trickier than it looks. The things that look like they should be simple are actually tricky. That's what I've noticed anyway. I'll try again. Okay, right. Start. Here we go. I think the main problem that I'm having is I'm not getting tight enough in the slipstreams of the car in front. Not only that, but I'm losing too much speed on this corner here. Got to do a better job on turning. Right, that was nice. It feels faster. But I'm not sure if it is faster. Come on. Oh, 155.3. Yes, we got the gold. Oh, we just got the gold. That was actually the gold standard, 155.3. Not fast enough to beat the friends on my leaderboard though, but still we got our gold, which is what we came for. But yeah, that's definitely more tricky. The turbulent air definitely has an effect on your ability to handle your car on turning, which is pretty good. I like that, that's, that's very realistic. Very realistic. Nice. Past the GT86. I was scared that I was actually gonna make contact with him. Then we hunt down the Golf. Pulled out quickly. Straight into the back of the WRX. Took another... Hey! I was commentating. Oh, well. Next. Okay, right. So we move on to the final challenge now to complete stage one. Kyoto Driving Park 
Miyabi Group 4 two lap race. That's a two lap race, okay. In a what? A GT car by Citroen. When did Citroen ever make GT cars? Since when? Right, take the G uh, take the Group 4 car to participate in a freshman race. Be wary of making driving mistakes and aim to win. Try to finish with bronze or better results. Fair enough, it sounds pretty straightforward, but I don't remember Citroen ever making GT cars. Well, you live and learn, and I like living, and I like learning especially, so that's good. Now I know. Or is this a fake concept car made by Gran Turismo themselves? I need to go and look on Wikipedia, I really do. Because I don't ever remember Citroen ever making these types of cars, ever. Right there, oh my goodness, it looks like I am behind the wheel of the Batmobile. I can't see, I actually cannot see. Right, here we go. Past one already. Oh, this thing is very responsive. Oh, no contact, no contact, no contact. You must show YouTube that you can drive without being a douche. Nice, okay. Oh, 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 I've lost the back end, I lost it. Gathered it up again, but I think that's lost me too much time to recover. Fifth gear, dab on the brakes, glide it in, up the inside, neatly done, brilliant. Huh? Oh! No! Battery! Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Where is the bloody... Right, so I just ruined my freaking race with my stupid batteries and my bloody controller just kill it anyway to be honest with you the race was lost before then okay so it looks like we're gonna get a silver here oh no it's two laps i forgot okay we've still got an opportunity nice brilliant grip this car is fantastic never let it be said that citroen can't make good cars okay I don't think I'm going to beat any of my friends' laps. Lap times, I should say, or race times, rather. Ooh, 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 turn, turn, turn. Ooh, way too wide there, but still managed to gather it up. Again, the traction control helped me nicely there. Oh, brilliant. Okay, well, we've got our gold, which is great. This thing looks crazy. Look at it. Nice, we'll take that. Thank you very much. And that is stage one complete. Yeah, boy. Oh, brilliant. We've got a gift car. Oh, yes. Okay, please be something good. Please be something that I would like. I don't want a stupid concept car. I want a normal... What's that? Is that a Ferrari? Oh, yes. Is that 458? <gasps> yes! The 458 Italia. The 458 Italia is now in our grasp. Fantastic. It's now in our garage. Thank you very much. I like that. I like that a lot. Bourne has completed all mission challenges in stage one and has earned the following reward, the Ferrari 458 Group 4 car. I'm going to share that. There you go. Uh, oh. Boy. There you go. Respect me. Respect me. Respect me, man. Respect me, man. Respect my authority, man. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Lovely. Brilliant. So I guess this is um, the perfect segue to now show you guys what cars I've actually got. Ah, here we go. Mileage exchange. Use the mileage points you've earned to acquire items. Yes, I know this already. I've already explained this to the people at home. Hello. Right. Um, yeah, I guess this will be a perfect opportunity now to go into my garage and show you guys what cars I've, I've unlocked already. Uh, where are we? Home. I'm still trying to learn my way around the game, so please forgive me. Where are we? Okay here we go garage okay cool so i have the lancer evolution final edition as you can see at the top we've got the cayman gt club sport uh I'm, do you know what i'm not going to go through all the cars i'm going to go through the ones that i like the, the, the most i've got a ford focus st 2015 i've got my charger hellcat now i'm not i like muscle cars okay i like classic muscle cars but i don't really like the modern ones however this is different this is one that I really, 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 really do like. And I'm so happy that I managed to get it. I haven't been able to actually test it out yet. It is something that I'm actually going to obviously use at some point. But yeah, really happy that I've got that. I've got the Civic Type R. As you know, I'm a huge fan of hatchbacks. So very happy that I've got that. 
Camaro SS, the Honda NSX, the 458 as you saw earlier on, and I've got myself a V8 Vantage from Aston Martin. So as you can see, the car list is quite diverse. We've got a nice mix of European cars. We've got American muscle cars. We've got hatchbacks. We've got Japanese JDM over here. We've got quite a lot, and we've got enough of these project type vehicles as well, which I will be using at some stage. But yeah, that is my car, that is my car garage so far. 14 cars unlocked. Now, thus far, as I mentioned, I haven't actually gone into any races yet, but I just wanted to drop this really quick video as an update to let you guys know that I am playing GT Sport. I own GT Sport now. I paid for it with my own money. It's not sponsored or anything like that. And I am having an absolutely beautiful time. Playing Gran Turismo Sport, I, I really can't explain to you the, what I'm going to say now in words that make any sense. It just feels like a really good game. I, it sounds weird because normally when you when you want to measure up and compare one game to another, you compare track lists, you compare the amount of cars, you compare things like dynamic weather and stuff like that. But Gran Turismo has something that Project Cars 2 and Forza Motorsport 7 doesn't have and it's the presentation and it doesn't seem like much, it doesn't seem like something that will make you go out and buy the game but when you put this game into your PlayStation you just feel it's something special you feel like it was handmade and made with care rather than made with the dollar sign in mind now i'm not for one second suggesting that, that that's what they've done over at project cars 2 that's not what i'm saying but it's just it just feel it feels magical it feels like Gran Turismo. Even the actual menu system, the music that plays in the background, it sounds like the music is massaging my eardrums. It's that calm and that sort of warm feeling you get. It's the type of game that you look forward to playing on a Sunday afternoon for the whole day, basically. Now, as you know, in-game photography is, has become massive in racing games, not just racing games, but in gaming as a whole. The ability to obviously take your in-game shots and then share them socially, whether it be on your Instagram, whether it be on your Twitter, whatever. These guys over here, what they've done is they've taken it to a whole new level. Obviously, we've always seen the possibility of adding filters and stuff like that to your pictures to make them look a little bit more artistic. But what they've done is they've taken extremely high quality photos of various different landmarks various different locations all over the world and it gives you the opportunity to basically put your car in those landmarks and it what's this download oh brilliant okay so there seems to be a free pack to download that's cool but um yeah as i was saying so what you can do actually is you can come out with some really really good looking pictures so if i just go to i think it's is it favorites and here you can see the community has already been hard at work in posting some what can only be described as absolutely brilliant looking photographs. Um, we've got, there's too many here for me to go through. I'm just going to pick out one or two. Um, we've got this one here, which is a GTR safety car by somebody called G -Ma Master. Is that right? G Master on the 4th of December. And just look at it. Let's just, can we maximize this in, in any way? Can I make it bigger? Preview. There we go, look at that, look at that in absolute full glory and beauty. Now, this is the type of picture whereby if you were to type in GT Sport into Google Images, you expect to find this as like, sort of like a promo shot. The type of shot that the developers will put together to make the game look as attractive as possible. This was a shot taken by a regular player within the game. Now, it doesn't just stop there because if I go back, you can see we've got this one here from Fidelity Split. What I mo what I like most about this, not not even just the picture, but the fact that if we look over on the right hand side, you've got people actually commenting, rating, sharing their thoughts. Um, thank you, everyone. Thank you. I'm scared of you. Uh, why are you scared? Probably scared of this person's talent because that is a brilliant looking picture of the Ferrari there. Uh, gorgeous, amazing photo. It it just brings the whole community together, which is something that i think other games need to look at and try to implement because obviously when you're a fan of a game you're, you're you're part of that community essentially and i think gran turismo what they've really done this year is they've they've looked at that they've harnessed it and they've gone above and beyond what you would expect in that respect so credit to them and you know what i'm actually gonna put a thumbs up myself i like that and i'm gonna drop a comment green goblin Yes, who knows about the Green Goblin? Who knows about Green Goblin, yo? From freaking Spider-Man. There we go. Where's my comment? Does it show? Is it at the top? 
Yes, there I am. I'm going to love my own comment because I'm just mad like that. Brilliant. Yeah, man. Honestly, the photography game in Gran Turismo Sport is insane. I am going to, at some point, figure out if there's a way that I can get you guys to send some of your pictures in so I can start showcasing them on the channel because I feel it's an area of the game that really, really does need to be pushed and deserves to be pushed as well. Uh, what else have we got here? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Liberty Walk Night Race. Let's take a look at this. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look. Preview. Oh, I like that. I li you see, look, it looks like it was taken on a real road in real life. You, If someone presented this picture to you, you would never have thought it was taken within the actual game itself. That is brilliant. That is awesome. Well done, you, man. What's your name? Your name is... What is your name? Liberty Walk Night... Ra no, that's the name of the photo. That's not your name. What's your name? Uh, I can't find your name. Oh, well. But anyway, it was a good picture. But anyway, yeah, guys, you get the gist of what I'm saying. There's so many pictures here. I mean, just... Go, go in there and have a look yourself. If it's your first time around here, I wish you a born welcome. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And also, let me know what your thoughts are on GT Sport so far. Have you bought it? If you haven't bought it already, I anticipate the game dropping in price again around the Christmas period. It went down to half price during Black Friday, but I think it's probably going to drop in price again in the next few days during the actual Christmas period festive period i've got no confirmation on that but just keep an eye out on the playstation store and other outlets just in case so i'll see you oh my goodness look at this car porn oh look at the car porn honestly it's just beautiful what a pretty game this is what an absolutely stunningly gorgeously pretty game this is take care guys peace